East for North Carolina governor promises to be long and expensive. Expensive as in $100 million, but most of that cash is likely to come from outside the state that each candidate wants to be in charge of. Democratic Attorney General Josh Stein put the will he or won't he question to rest by announcing his bid for governor nearly two years before the election. By the end of March, Republican State Treasurer Dale Falwell did the same. And after hinting at it for months, Republican Lieutenant Governor Mark Robinson announced his candidacy this past weekend. All this makes for a very long race and a lot of cash. I think between the primary and the general, I can see this as being a $100 million gubernatorial race. I mean, we've seen the same progression on the Senate races, and we're even see that, seeing it hit like Supreme Court races. So it's money is no object now. How would a $100 million race compare to others? The 2012 race between Lieutenant Governor Walter Dalton and Pat McCrory ran $20 million. The 2016 race between Roy Cooper and McCrory hit $60 million. The 2020 race between Cooper and Lieutenant Governor Dan Forrest ran $70 million. What changed? Where is all this money coming from? Meredith College political science professor David McLennan says look out of the state. So we're talking about two-thirds of the money spent in North Carolina elections is by these outside expenditure groups, not by the candidates themselves, which raises all kinds of questions. Sometimes who's behind all that money? Much of the spending is being driven by the proponents and opponents of the headlines like gun legislation and abortion. But the candidates can't rely on that alone. By announcing early, they can build a war chest early. Both Stein and Robinson already have a multi-million dollar head start. You can't start um, a year before the general election and raising money or else you'll just be so far behind your opponent. So the fact that Robinson and Stein have millions already, you know, you start adding zeros to it as you look a year down the road. And, you know, it's not just the statewide races that we're seeing across the country that all this outside money is coming in. It goes down to the localist of the local races, particularly school boards mm. all over the country. We're seeing this happen to city councils, county commissions. We can go down the list. And you mentioned it's going to be long and expensive, and this is just the beginning. I, <laughs> just the beginning. I can't even put my head around yeah. the fact that it's not this November because it feels like it should be almost. We're talking about it already. Long